what's up guys Jamie here and I want to say before I start this video I'm very sorry I haven't done a video in two weeks my reason is I was sick I had a cold and I had a little bit of a stomach bug but I am back making videos regularly like I usually do making videos every week but now that it's the summer I will be able to make videos a lot more and it'll be might even be more than twice a week but anyway, getting on to what the video is, it's going to be what's on my iPhone. And before I get to that, my other excuse is why I haven't made a video is I've just been really lazy. And besides being sick, it's also the end of the school year. And you know how busy that can get. But anyway, I have the iPhone 5S. For those of you who are asking me, I know I've said in every video, I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to upgrade. The reason why I haven't is because I haven't had the time to go to get a new phone. But now that it's coming towards the summer and I want more footage room, I want a better camera because I'm going to a lot of wrestling events. And I love to film and take pictures. And I also like to film my vacation and put it on here as a video. So... That's what I want room for. And I want a little bit bigger of a phone. I like the size of the iPhone 6S. Getting on to this. Yes, I have the iPhone 5S. It's silver. I have a Survivor. I almost said Survivor Series. Survivor case. I actually really like these cases. Um, they are two cases in one. And they protect really well against your phone. I've dropped this so many times. I've throwing it when I was mad and it's fun but they're not as expensive either but anyway on to the video all right guys so once you go on to my phone this is what you will see a picture of the undertaker which I'm sure that doesn't surprise you that that is my lock screen or he is my lock screen before I actually go on and show you what's on my iPhone I filmed two videos of what's on my iPhone and what's on my iPod but it was filmed from three or four months ago, so I'm refilming this. But anyways, this is what you'll see, a picture of The Undertaker, and if you're wondering where this is from, this is from the latest WrestleMania, WrestleMania 32. So, oh, and in my What's on My iPad video, I've had a few people mention to me that you can see my password, but I did that on purpose. And the reason why I did it was that the video, which was of me talking about this, I wanted it to match with what I was saying to the movements of the video, if that makes any sense. So anyways, getting on to it, this is what you see. And it probably doesn't surprise you, but you can say what your lock screen is. All right, so I am not going to show you my password, but I am. All right, so when you come onto my screen, or when you unlock my screen, you will see... The background, which is Norman Reedus and Andrew Lincoln, who play Daryl Dixon and Rick Grimes on The Walking Dead, which are my two favorite people and come second to WWE, but is another show that I absolutely adore. So, what I have on this first page is YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, camera, WWE, iTunes, App Store, TWD, Dead Yourself. Now, I do have this in kind of a particular order. I put YouTube, Twitter, Instagram there because those are the three social media sites that I use the most. And I'm always clicking on them. And I put camera there because that's something I also use the most, even though it's not social media. But, yeah, so this page is the stuff that is the most important and what I use the most. Uh, this stuff here at the bottom, what I hear use at the bottom, phone, messages, settings, uh, contacts, is important to me because no matter on what page you are on in this so if I go and scroll to the second page, it'll be there too. So this first page 
is what I use the most and are what is the most important. So YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram are first because those are the three social medias that I use the most. Categorize phone, messages, settings, and contacts together because I felt they all go together. And no matter what page you are on on your phone, you can always click on it. And it's just easier than going in a tab or, you know, scrolling back to the page you are on to, to tap it. But I can just go to phone set, uh, messages, settings, or my contacts. Just go quick and add something or go and quick and call. And obviously, I have D WWE and The Walking Dead because, because I love them the most. And I again, I put my most favorite and most important thing on the first page. And iTunes and App Store, I always put together. You'll see that on my iPad and iPhone or whatever I'm using. And they're together on everything anyway. I thought it was very strange if they're not together. But yes, I will click on WWE, but you know that um, you probably already know what it looks like on there. And because it ends the recording, which is why I don't. But I use it for WWE Shop. I use it for updates. I also use it mostly to see what events are coming to my area and it's a lot easier to use than trying to check on the website because it'll just there's automatically a tab in WWE app uh, you know it'll say closest to you so anyways and then there's this app which is the walking dead dead yourself and you can make yourself into a walker or whatever you decide to call them All right, so getting on to now the second page. These are the more, not, not that, that they're not important, but not as important or as much of a favorite. And, and the reason being maybe Facebook, Snapchat are on here is because on the second page because I don't use them as much as the, those other three social medias and um, the reason why Musical.ly is on here is because one of the YouTubers that I watch has a Musical.ly and I wanted to see the Musical.ly of her dedicating it to her brother who sadly passed away eight months ago but anyway getting on to it I organized the second page to where the not as important things are kind of into boxes I didn't want to make so many pages on my second page, I have it kind of on the least important, or not as important as, as, the, as the first page. And the reason why I don't have many pages is because I don't want many pages. The apps that are not as important, again, go in to a box. So anyways, Facebook, Snapchat are on this side because because they are I don't use them as much as Instagram YouTube or Twitter anyway so this first box right here I put in the editing that I use for thumbnails I, I used to use these for editing pictures and putting them on Instagram but now I mainly use them to edit thumbnails and for my videos so I will show you I mainly use little pics and pics art that I use in here is what I use to make my thumbnails I used to use a lot of this stuff for just making videos or not I used to make for just making edits and putting them on Instagram but now I mainly use it just for thumbnails so I use little pics pics art so that's what I strictly use now. I deleted a lot of it because I don't really use a lot of it, a lot of them. And I feel like these two actually work the greatest for me. And I found great apps. So anyways, FaceTime, I don't know why I put in here. I don't really have a place for it. And I actually don't really FaceTime on my phone. I mainly do it on my laptop. But anyways, so, so Little Picks is what I use for maybe to have not a huge edit, but I will take 
from the other app that I showed you and use this just mainly to like write maybe a little blurb or I mainly use this to make it more rectangle so that it can fit as a thumbnail so stuff doesn't get cut off. So I'll show you. So let's just go with Undertaker. All right. And then, you know, I could do some put that on there and you know dead man's return something like that and then I'll take it save it and put it as my thumbnail so square and I don't want it or a rectangle and I don't want it to cut out so I come here mainly to find okay to find um, a shape that fits the thumbnail so yeah there are many of them but I like to use this one or if I'm doing a celebrating undertaker video I'll just use a simple square to write a message so that's what I think this was for. Yeah, see, this is, was for the Undertaker birthday video. And these are some of the edits that I've already done. Um, and since I made this on the app that I'm going to show you next, but I just critiqued it a little bit with my name and with a filter. So it's PixArt. And you can add and crop things. You can do add a bunch of pictures you can um, have it in the background where it's faded so I'll show you this is what I whoops this is what I mainly use to do my photos so let's see I'm going to add you see a lot of my pictures but anyway so let's see I wanted to add this one in the background so you can you can add different photos and stage them here. You can add text, you know. You So let's say you're doing the brand split, you know, brand split. This is obviously not what I did for the, the thumbnail, if you saw my brand split uh, video. But yeah, you could do something like that. You could fade this picture. So it's in the background, you know. I really like this because also you can get transparent photos where it automatically just, you don't have to do this part. So, um, photo, let's see. Let's say I want, it was, I don't know, Enzo versus Undertaker, which probably wouldn't happen. But, you know, anyway, okay. So you can do this, which will crop them out of the photo. So see or you can type in on Google and type in a transparent photo and they'll so you don't have to use that but this is what I use so get photos was kind of just a search engine um, I used it for so I didn't have to go to Google type in I didn't have to screenshot photos I used to be able to just type in let's say Undertaker get a photo that I needed for editing purposes for a thumbnail or just to edit something for Instagram. I would type in Undertaker and photos would come up and I would, you know, click on the ones I want and it would download onto here. And that's how I would get it. For some reason, it doesn't work anymore. I don't think this app actually exists, but I keep it anyway, which I don't know why. Um, it has search engines as Google, Bing, and Flickr. Then Photos, Big Daylight, Dropbox, which Dropbox I used for an Undertaker video. And Big Daylight, I was counting down to certain days. And then on the next page, I put in Music, Health, iBooks, I Videos. Again, I don't really use these. And I'm here. Okay, so next is the apps that I don't really use. The only thing I really use on here is the weather, 
o'clock to do workout videos a little bit. And battery, before I knew that you could just turn it on. I was a new iPhone user. And I originally saw that because all I would saw was people's battery life on Verizon users only. That's what I saw her. But anyways, then you have tips. So yeah, maps, weather, clock voice memos, wallet, battery, stocks, and then find iPhone news, watch, find friends, which I don't use. This is what I don't really use either. I mainly only use from here is the calendar, reminders, and the calculator, and sometimes notes. I don't use Safari. I don't really like Safari. And, by the way, I'm really not that popular. I This is my email of my YouTube email. And any notification, whether you comment me, comment on a video, like a video. Um, it's also attached to my other social media. So, anytime someone likes or replies or I have, you know, two other accounts. So, that's what that's all from. I don't actually have that many. It's just, it's a lot of it's junk, too. So, kick, I don't know why I still have. I need to delete. But, for the calendar, I look so I can see what certain days of events are on. And, I don't know. But, anyways, um, on here, Pages, Messenger, Translate, Chrome. Google Chrome, I use as a desktop. I don't like to use Safari. Pages and Messenger were there. You had to download with Facebook. And a fan page. So that's why those are in there. Which now it automatically just transfers you to that you to that, which is annoying, but those notes went in there. And then these are the games I used to play, which I actually deleted a lot of them because I didn't play them anymore. And and obviously you saw at Fluffy Bird, which I'm never going to delete because you won't be able to download it again. So layout, I'm sure you know. I have Google on here so I can type in, so I can, all right, so I mainly have Google on here to for updates. So I can just type in, for instance, let me see, I was looking up WWE events because they weren't yet advertised, but I knew that they were coming here. But anyway, obviously, it probably doesn't surprise you that I have Undertaker searching up Undertaker. I Just in case, when he's coming back, to see any updates on him, which there isn't. And, or I was searching maybe when Randy Orton is coming back. I like to check a lot about updates on wrestlers to see when they're coming back, how healthy they are, you know, things like of that nature. And then Facebook, Snapchat. Train time, I take the train places, and Musical.ly, which the only reason why I have a Musical.ly is to watch other people, and I like a family called the Pertaleys, and I wanted to see the Musical.ly where she dedicated to her brother that sadly passed away. And yes, I've fallen victim because I love Snapchat. Again, I don't really have too much on here because I mainly use my laptop now, and I will be showing you more on what's on my iPod. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below on what you saw on here that you have, what you like, and I will do more. What sh else should I download on here? What else you might download that you have on here? Oh, and before I go, I'm going to show you my pictures because I did not do that. I have Enzo More. Enzo More. Undertaker. This is the newest photo of him. My kitty cat sleeping. Undertaker and his wife, Enzo Mori and Big Cass, Undertaker, my kitty, more Undertaker photos. Ooh, this photo is amazing. I need to post this one. The New Day and Enzo. The New Day and Enzo. This was a great thing. This was even better. The Walking Dead cast. More Undertaker photos. My kitty cat sleeping. This photo is amazing. I love the cast photos. But yes, anyway, doing the dab. How you doing?
under Cape and Chain. But yes, comment down below on if you have any of these photos that I have and if you have anything that I have on here. And I will see you next week this Wednesday or Friday or whenever with a new video. Bye. But I, I will show you a little bit. It's it's a hard cover. It covers the complete thing. It has a stand on the back and that's the brand. But anyway, if you want to completely see me talk about it, then go to that video. But anyway, let's get started on what's on my iPad. All right, guys, so this is my locked screen. When you open it, I will be kind of interesting. Let's see. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to do a video on eyeshadow. So if you want to see me um, do my eye.